Okay. Um, so with this, we I normally then with the basic thing I normally like to center my text in the middle, um, and also kind of push it in from the each side, having a margin on each side, so we can actually add some um, another table inside here with one by one. Um, click on this, exact same thing again, zero, zero, zero. Make this align center and 700 pixels. Oops. Is a good size. Um, and so, so we have that. So this is where all our content's going to go. So we can go up here, left, remember, and top, and then push it in a bit using this key, which in, which index indents the um the text, and we can enter it. So we're gonna go home, select that, go bold, and we can go enter, make some sample text, yada yada yada. Make it normally with this, it's very good to have a white background because if you have a black background with white writing it actually gives you eye strain it's, it's proven that the darker the background and the lighter the text it gives you eye strain with the contrast so it's best to keep the backgrounds white and the text black um, so for this we'll give this a special color so background you can choose from grayscale whatever let's push that up and with a header I'm going to add an image, so we can go up to here, which is an image button, click on image, and you're presented with this explorer for all the images, so you just going to go find the image source, so I'm going to go click on here, which is the one I've used before, and go to make this document a relative path, you should have saved it first, so we're going to go that, it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite the file, if you already have it in there, which I do, so I've already done it. Alternate text is what the text is when you roll when you keep your mouse over it. And it's pretty much a long description of the um the image. So now I have that in my website and there. We can then go ahead and now link our links together. So the home of any website it's gonna be index no matter what. Index is how the servers read a website. So if you have in the home as a starting page, always use an index. Index.html or HTM. Um, just for this, we're going to go contact. .html for the contact and about. .html. I make mine up without actually making the pages first. Some people will actually make the pages. I should go ahead and make the pages, and then go ahead using these tools which allows you to select a page which links it but then you have to go ahead on every single page and link it back and forth so I like to make one kind of template first and then link that off so now we have that um, we have a page now we can use as a template so what I like to do is if I was to save this as index.html um, just existing because I've already done before so now I have a index.html. So if I want to change this to contact, I'm going to change this to contact and then save that as contact.html. And you overwrite the file and then I want to do about. So I'm going to go save as about.html. So now all the links are now linked to each other. You can see down here. So there you go, guys. It's a very simple design. Um, it may be hard at first, but you actually can. Once you learn the basics of it, it can be very good, and, and you actually can go quite far with this program. So if you want any more videos, just please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. See ya.